Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Jillian. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, today I have a, what I call a love, like, and loathe, but basically it's like a hit and misses. It's products I've either been loving, products I've been liking, or products that just did not work out for me for one reason or another. Um, so I have a lot to share today. I'll try not to take too long going through everything. Um, but if you like this style of video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you go and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so like I said, I have a lot to go through and a lot of the things that I have are in my loves category. So that's probably going to be the longest. So I'm going to start with the products that I didn't like or that didn't really work out for me. Um, so I have a couple things. So I'll start with the first one. So it's really some... Some of these brands are really hard for me to say that I don't like these things because I love the brand. So the first one is from Flower Beauty. It's um, their Stellar Prismatic Highlighter. Um, I got this because it was on sale, but it is basically like flecks of glitter. It is basically like putting glitter on your face. Um, which to me, in my opinion, this should be more of an eyeshadow topper than anything. Um... I don't think it works well as a high, like a face highlighter, um, but I this one just did not work out for me. I'll probably be putting it in my declutter pile. <laughs> um, a couple eyeshadow palettes here. So um, I think part of the reason that these are in my like low category is because the whole collection kind of disappointed me, I guess. So it's the um, Ulta Beauty by Gilmore Girls eyeshadow palettes. Um, I think this, this one falls out, so I'm not going to tilt it too much. I'm going to hold it. So this is the Lorelei. Um, and they're all, they're both very, very similar. Um, and then this is the Rory. So this one is a little bit more mauve and the other one's a little bit more brown, but when you put them on, the shadows don't look that much different in color. Um, the mattes are okay. They blend nicely. My biggest issue is with the shimmers. The shimmers aren't, they don't pop um, like I would want them to. And I just, I think they could have done so many different things with the collection that they didn't do. Um, so that's, that's where my thoughts are with that. Okay, so a few things from Believe Beauty. So for most of the brand, I absolutely loved everything. I'm sure you'll see quite a bit in either my likes or my loves category. Um, there was two things that didn't quite work out for me. So the first one is the Believe Beauty, the Volume Volume Min Eyes Waterproof Mascara. So this one um, did not work out for me. And this is what the brush like shape looks like. So for me, it transferred and it flaked quite a bit throughout the day, um, which surprised me with it being waterproof. Typically, if something's waterproof, it doesn't do that on my eyes. Um, so for me, this one, I, I didn't like it. However, I would try other mascaras from the brand um, and see what other mascaras they had. Okay, and then the other thing from Believe Beauty that I didn't, I don't know, I wish is the brushes so I don't know if it's just my face I don't know but when I used the brushes they hurt my face like I don't even like it felt like it was like needles poking at my skin which is crazy because when I feel them right now they feel so unbelievably soft um I, I'll try maybe I'll try them again because they feel so soft so I'm not sure how, what was going on with that but they like they hurt my face for some reason and I don't have that sensitive like I have a pretty high pain tolerance so I'm not sure what was going on okay and then the last things in my um low category are some things from Undone Beauty um so it is their I think these are like their water um, water blush, water highlighter, and then I think it's the water bronzer. So this is the shade Amber. It's supposed to be 230 Amber. Um, and this is kind of what the shade looks like, like in the tube. 
I, for the life of me, could not get these either. So the bronzer did not blend at all. I couldn't get it to blend. Um, the blush, this was in the shade Merlot. I could not get this to show up on my skin. Like it, it felt like I put nothing on <clears throat> my skin. And then the last one is the highlighter. Same thing for this one. I could not get this and it's, they're beautiful shades. What is this one? Gold Lit is the shade here. So they're beautiful shades. I just, they did not show up on my skin and I don't, I don't know why. I thought I picked the right colors. Maybe I picked different colors or if you have a technique that you've gotten them to work. Um, put, listen in the comments, let me know. I, I like the brand. I just, those ones just did not work for me. So I thought I would try, I've heard good things about the powder, um, like products. So I thought maybe I would try some of the powder ones instead if those ones didn't work. Okay, and now we'll go into the like category. So these are products that I liked. They were good. Um, they just, they won't probably become like my absolute favorites. Um, like the ones in my love will, which is a little sad because it's so many things in my love. But okay, um, I'll go ahead and start, I guess, just with, um, we'll start with some complexion products here. So, um, Following that trend of the Undone Beauty, this is the matte, unfoundation matte tint. So I like this one for like a no makeup makeup day. Um, it doesn't give you a whole lot of coverage or anything like that, but it does kind of even out the skin tone and cover up some redness if you have any. Um, so I liked it from that aspect. Um, it does say light coverage on it. Um, it isn't very buildable, so I would say it is just a light coverage um, matte unfoundation but um I do think that it has a good purpose um at least for me I like matte um skin I had oily skin growing up until you know I started getting older and now I have more dry skin but I like that matte finish on my face so the other thing that's in my light category is the Neutrogena Flawless Matte CC Cream um I have it in the shade Shell 110 um well, first, the shade is a little dark for me for it being shell one. Um, typically, anything that has like shell or ivory will work for me. So it is a little dark um, shade wise, but I liked this. The only thing I would say is it's not, it wasn't super long wearing on me. Um, I know it's a CC cream, but there's a lot of CC creams that I have that will last at most of the day, at least through an eight hour work day. So I liked this. Um, and I like the fact that it has niacinamide in it. That's one of my favorite products to use, but maybe I'll try it in a lighter shade if it does have a lighter shade. I know the shade range wasn't super broad. Um, so I'll see there. Um, the next thing I have are concealers. So I have the concealers from Believe Beauty. I have two shades. I have pearl and then I have ivory. Um, Pearl is more of my, um, like my under eye shade. And then ivory is more of my like spot concealer. So I do like both of, I did like, ooh, sorry. I did like both of these. Um, it didn't, it's lighter coverage. I would say more of like a medium type coverage. It's not full coverage. Um, but it did hide some of the discoloration and it didn't crease. It didn't feel heavy. It did feel very lightweight. Um, so I did like this, especially paired with something like this for like a no makeup makeup day, um, that I just wanted some, some coverage, but maybe not full coverage. So I liked both of these. And so I tried the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer Base, the one silicone pre free primer that does it all. So I did like this primer, um, it's in my likes category because for me, I like the e.l.f. Putty Primer better. So, um, I don't know. It says it mattifies, it hydrates, and it blurs pores. It preps skin for long lasting makeup and it's simply, and it's impossibly silicone free. So I like everything it claims and I do agree with everything it claims. I think it blurs pores. I myself need more of a pore filler. Um, and I think that's why I like the putty primer better. <clears throat> so I did like this one, but it, I don't know if I would repurchase it again. 
over like my putty primer, I guess. All right, so from Believe Beauty, I did try like their um, contour, what is it? The Dual Ended Contour Stick in the shade Light. Um, I liked this quite a bit. I would say um, <clears throat> blend quickly. Um, I ended up just doing like one side of my face and then I would do the other side of my face just because it did dry pretty quickly. Um, if you get in there, it does blend pretty easily and I did really like it. But um, yeah, I like it. I'm, I prefer like my bronzing sticks personally um, more than like these contour type dual ended things, but it was good. Okay, so now we'll go ahead, let's go into, um, I got a bunch of blushes here that are in my likes, and I'm sure I have more that are in my list. So the first one that's in my likes is the um, Flower Blush Balm. I have it in the shade Pinched. Um, so it's a very peachy shade. I did like this one. I don't feel like it has a whole lot of pigment to it. Um, a lot of my cream products I like to wear under like a lighter coverage foundation. And one thing I noticed with this one is when I used it, it didn't show up very much under that foundation. Um, so this was one that I had to use on top to really get it to pop or to show. So I liked this, um, but I didn't like it for the normal purpose that I like using cream blushes for. Okay, so this one is from M Cosmetics. So this is their blush in Rose Milk. Um, so I really, really like the product in here. Um, my issue is with the packaging. The dropper does not work. Um, and so, so it was really hard to get product out of here because the dropper wasn't working on this one. Um, I like the product itself, just the dropper part didn't, didn't work for me. So... I don't know. I wish maybe they'd put it in different packaging, but I mean, looking at the packaging, it's super cute. It is. And maybe mine was just defective with the dropper not working and that is a total possibility. So, okay. A couple more blushes here. So I have the blush from Believe Beauty. Um, I have it, what shade? Gallivanter. So I did like this. I thought this was really pretty. Um, I did use quite a, it quite a bit. Um, I would say that um, I would probably have got, I should probably have gotten a different shade than what I got. Um, it was really close to the bronzer shade. So I tried to use the Believe Beauty, like the bronzer and the um, blush separate. But I guess on the bright side, I don't have this shade in any other like blushes. So at least it's a unique shade for me, but I did like it. It lasted most of the day. And everything um one more blush here so this is let's see here this is the cover fx um blush i have it in the shade the monochromatic blush duo in soft peach um i liked this i thought it was really pretty um <coughs> the only reason that it is in this category instead of the other is just because um i don't know if i would purchase it Again, I liked it, I did, um, but I like the matte shade more than the shimmer. So if I repurchased Cover FX, I would probably just get the matte shade and not get the shimmer with it, but I liked it. And honestly, the same thing goes for the bronzer. I only have one bronzer on my likes here, um, and it was the, what is it, Sun Kissed Bronze. So same with this one, I, I liked this one. They are both very, very pigmented, so you don't need very much on it at all. Um, but same with this one. If I repurchased, I would only want the matte shade. I wouldn't want the shimmer shade. So that's why it's in my likes. And if it was just the matte shade, they would both be in my loves. I, I let, they worked really well for me. Um, just not the shimmers. Okay. And then I have two highlighters in my likes here. So I have the one from Milk Makeup. This is the Flex Highlighter, um, the Glaze Flex Highlighter. I did really, really like this one. Um, the only reason it's a little dark for my skin tone, so I actually prefer this one as like an eyeshadow topper, but as an eyeshadow topper, it was really beautiful. And I could get away with this during the summer. It's just as we're moving in towards winter and my skin, I lose any tan that I would have gotten 
um, I wouldn't be able to use this one. And the other one is the Glam Light or Michaela by Glam Light, the pressed highlighter. Um, I did really like this one as well. Um, the only reason that it's in this, the likes instead of loves is because it is a little bit bolder than what I typically wear for highlighter. Um, like you could see the, the highlighter on my face, which sometimes I don't mind. Like if I'm on camera or things like that, cause you want it to pop more. Um, but for like my day to day, um, it was, it was very like a bold highlighter. So if you like a bold highlighter, you would probably love this. Absolutely love this. Cause the formula was amazing. Okay. So I have, let's see here. I have one mascara here. So it's the It Cosmetics Hello Lashes. Um, I did like this mascara. This is what the wand looks like. I did, I did like this mascara. It was very difficult to get off at like the end of the day. Um, even with like warm water, it was difficult for me to get off. Like I felt like I would wake up and still have like flakes on my face. Um, and I, and I do dual cleanse and everything. So I don't, I liked it. Um, it did stay all day, but for it to be that difficult to get off, um, I don't know. It kind of deterred me a little bit. I didn't want to use it because I knew that I would have like black marks the next day, you know, the next morning when I woke up. Something in my eye there. Okay, so I also have in here the Believe Beauty, the Master Matte Makeup Setting Spray. Um, this one, it has like a super fine mist and it doesn't smell like super strong. I did really like this one as well. Um, I would say that I, I mean, for the price, it's like under $5. So that's amazing. But I do prefer like the Urban Decay All Nighter or the Charlotte Tilbury um, setting sprays. I think that gives me a little bit longer lasting makeup than this one did. Um, but it did leave me matte and for $5. I mean, that's a, it's a good product for, okay. And then let's see. I think this is the last thing in this category from Believe Beauty, maybe. Um, so this is the Believe Beauty powder. I have it in the shade Translucent. So I did really like this one as well. Um, I don't typically lean towards powders, um, like loose powders. I like the pressed powders better. They just seem to set my makeup better on my skin. Um, but I like this one. I like this one quite a bit. So um, of my loose powders, this is probably one of my favorite. I just prefer like the pressed. Okay, and then I have three lip things here. Um, or a few, I have more than a few. Okay, so this one is first. This is the Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nude Potion from Ofra. Um, I liked this one. I don't typically lean towards liquid lipsticks. I prefer more of a um, bullet lipstick. Um, but I, I like this one. I like the shade. It seemed to last a while. Um, and then I have, it's the Michaela by Glam Light. So it is, what shade is this one? I don't remember, but it's more of like, it's not, okay. It's more of like the lipsticky type shade, like a nude shade over like a gloss it looks like. Um, I liked this one as well, but I, I preferred the other two in the collection, which I'll get into when we get to the loves. And this one just didn't shine as much as the other ones did, I guess, it, or stick out to me. So I liked it. it. I just, I probably wouldn't reach for it over the other two that she has. Okay. I have one bullet lipstick here and it's from Mented Beauty and it is in the shade, let's see here, Pretty in Pink. So I did like this shade um, and I liked this. The only thing that I found is it was a little bit drying on my lips. Um, not a whole lot but I could feel my lips were drier than they were before I put it on. They just felt tighter. So I was a little surprised by that, but I liked the product and I liked the color and it definitely lasted. So, okay. And then I have the Perfusion Mean Girls, the High Gloss Shine, um, the High Shine Lip Gloss. So I did like this as well. And I think the reason I liked it is because it was very nostalgic for me. It made me think of, um, oh gosh, what are it, like those juicy tubes? And um, it was just, it was a little thick and a little like glue, 
the gloss like is a heavier gloss but it just reminded me so much of the juicy tubes that we all used to carry around with us back in the day so I liked it um I don't know if it was more nostalgia or because of the product but I liked it and then the last thing is let's see here it's the fresh kiss the glossy lips the glossy lip stain from ColourPop um so I I liked this it's a little deeper than I typically go um my only issue with it is it took forever to it never seemed to like set or dry down like it it felt more like a gloss than a lip stain um and I didn't mind it as a gloss but if it says lip stain I expect it to do some sort of lip stain and I didn't feel like it did or at least it didn't on me so that would be my only complaint there but I like it as like a gloss like it was really pretty okay and now we'll get into some eyeshadow palettes that I have here um the first one or I guess I have a top or two but okay so the first one is from Rowan um let's see here this is in 1111 it's an eyeshadow palette and okay so I liked these shades quite a bit um they are a little bit like of a wetter formula than some of like the normal shimmers so um if if things like slide around on your eyelids you might not like this as much because I can see it creasing very easily um but if it doesn't these are absolutely beautiful and definitely definitely worth worth the price tag on them okay so the next palette here is I got the cherry palette from Marc Jacobs oops sorry I really okay I picked it up from TJ Maxx um and it is beautiful I love god damn it Jill. oh okay nothing broke I love this though I love this palette I love these shades um I love the berries in them I love that you can do a softer look with them um the formula is great I would probably be picking more of these up if I see them more at TJ Maxx because I did really really like them Okay, I have one blush topper here and it is from Believe Beauty, or not blush topper, eyeshadow topper from Believe Beauty. It's in the shade Pink Quartz. Um, I liked this one. Again, it's a very creamy formula. Um, so if you have oiler eyelids, you might not like it as much, but I really, really liked this and I tend to have oilier eyelids. So, um, and it worked for me, but it was very creamy, very pretty. Um, I did have to use quite a bit to get it to show up. So if that, if that's a thing for you um you might not like it it is a little bit sheerer but I did really like it okay so I have two of the wet and wild eyeshadow palettes the in love with cocoa I love the smell sorry um so this is more of like a neutral palette and then this one is the wet and wild the my cherry and more um palette and I liked both of these. Um, <clears throat> the formula very much reminded me of ColourPop. So um, if you like ColourPop's formula, you would probably like these. But I, they blended really easily. The mattes were beautiful and the shimmers were beautiful. So I really liked both of them. Um, I think my only complaint was one of the glitters. I think it was in this one, the cherry, like the pink glitter shade um this one um I had a lot a lot of fallout with it but otherwise otherwise they were beautiful okay so during the 20 ulta 21 days of beauty I picked up two palettes well I picked up more than two but I have two that are in my likes here so the first one is the little rock pro palette the New York palette um I love this palette I love Lorac though I have I mean Lorac was probably I think it was like the first high-end eyeshadow palette I've ever owned or ever tried. So I like the brand, but this is a really great palette. Um, I would say that it was what I, I took it on vacation with me and I like taking it on vacation with me because I could get different shades. Like you have your purples, you have your 
um, browns and you have your, your lighter shades and your darker shades. I really, really like this palette. Okay, and then this palette I also took on vacation with me. This is the natural, the natural nudes, the Born This Way natural nudes palette. So I liked this palette a whole lot. So it, um, you can do pink shades with it. You can do light shades. You can do golden shades, brown shades. I think this is a staple palette that people should have in their collection. Um, I guess for me, it's, it's different than most of the new palettes I have because there are like some purpley tones, some lavender pinks, brown. So I really, really like this palette. Um, the only issue that I had was um, if I was having like an oilier eyelid day, it did move around on me or it didn't stay. But I typically only have those like a couple days out of the month and then the rest of the month it, it worked beautifully. Okay, so that was everything in my likes category. So now we're on to the loves category, which is a really big category to get through. Okay, and I know this video is super long already, so I'm, I'm trying to go through things quickly. Um, so I'll start off with like foundations here. This, I'll start with the Smashbox Halo. I picked this one up in the 21 Days of Beauty. Um, and it's like a tinted, all-in-one tinted moisturizer. This is beautiful. I have never had a tinted moisturizer last as long on in my face as I did with this one. Um, the, it was hard for me to bring it downstairs and put it in these categories because I kept wanting to leave it upstairs. I have it in the shade Fair Light. Um, but if you see this one or if you can get it on sale, I it is beautiful. I would highly, highly recommend it. Okay, I have a the foundation from Believe Beauty, and I have the shade Shell. Um, see, this is what I mean. The shade Shell in this is so much lighter than the shade Shell in Neutrogena. That's okay. Um, I love the packaging. It was a beautiful foundation. I would say, on me, it was more of a medium coverage foundation, which I, I don't mind. I like medium to light coverage, typically. Um, but this one, it lasted... A while I wouldn't say it's going to be one that's gonna last you 16 hours but eight hours ten hours <coughs> um, it lasted so I I really really like this one okay I tried the stay naked um, the weightless liquid foundation up to 24 hour wear I really really like this one too so this one is one that I used when we were on vacation because of the 24 hour wear. I didn't want to have to worry about touching up or anything like that. And I would say that it is, it did last a long time, a very long time. I don't know if it's quite 24 hours. I don't know if I stayed up 24 hours anytime, but, um, I really, really like this one. The only thing I have to say is, um, so believe beauty, the packaging is like glass and it's like under $5. This is like 40, $50. And the package is plastic. You know, I think they could up the packaging a little bit there. Okay. I tried the LA Girl Tinted Foundation, the Buildable Natural Finish. I have it in the shade Bisque. I loved this too. It is so good and it's so inexpensive. I think it's like $10. Um, but it was, it was definitely buildable. It did start out more of a medium and it does have a natural finish. So I was highly, highly impressed with this. Um, I would definitely recommend picking this up. I actually think it's on sale right now at Ulta. If it's still on sale, look into it because it's really good. Okay, and so these these two things surprised me as to how much I loved them. They went viral on TikTok and typically if something goes viral on TikTok, it doesn't work for me or it's, I don't know if like maybe I have my like expectations so high that when I finally get into them like it's not worth it I don't know so I have the L'Oreal magic skin beautifier the BB cream I have it in the shade anti fatigue and then anti redness I loved both of these these look beautiful on their own they look beautiful under makeup um, the, 
I don't know. I don't know how they just looked amazing. <laughs> um, and it's hard to even put into words because it just, it looked so natural. Like it didn't look like I was wearing any makeup at all. And that's what I liked about them. Like, I don't, but they built, uh, oh, they look beautiful on their own under, I would recommend those too as well. Okay. So let's see here. That's lips. Um, so let's go into um, the all the bronzers that I have. Um, so I have a number of bronzers here that I have been loving. So I have the one from Flower Beauty. It's the Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer. This is beautiful. It actually reminds me a lot of the Hourglass Bronzer. Um, and so I, I loved this. It is beautiful. What it looked beautiful. I don't know. It just, it was amazing. And this one, which reminds me of the Hourglass as well and is very similar to the Flower Beauty one. It's the one from Believe Beauty. It's in the Sun Kissed Honey. Um, but they're very, very similar. This one I, I do think is probably um, a little bit more pigmented than the other one. So um, I would just say go in with a lighter hand. But it was beautiful. And it reminded me of the Hourglass as well. Okay, so this one I picked. Did I pick this one up at... This one is one that I got from TJ Maxx. So this is the one Buxom Staycation Vibes Primer Infused Bronzer. This is beautiful. So beautiful. Like, it just, it makes you look tan. And it, I don't, I, it was amazing. It, it's actually, the well, you'll see. I picked up the blush in it for the exact same reason. Because I loved that so much, so... Okay, I have the Nabla bronzer here. So this is a skin bronzing in the shade Ambra. I loved this. Um, it's more of like a skin glaze. So I it was more of like a luminous type bronzer. Um, but I did like it. And I liked the shade that I picked up. I think it worked really well for my skin. Um, very natural looking on me, but beautiful. Okay, last bronzer is let's see here I picked up the this one I also got from TJ Maxx so it's 102 tantric in the Omega bronzer um let's see here so I liked this one as well and I love the packaging I love how big the pan is um but the shade itself was really beautiful and it looked really good on my skin I was a little worried that it was going to come off more like a reddish but it didn't it definitely looked more of like a naturally bronzed look but this one is very buildable you can build it up if you want more of a contour type look um or just more of a bronzed look so beautiful <coughs> okay blushes i have quite a few blushes as well a lot of things that i've been loving which is amazing i i hope i want to love things more than not like things so the first one is the cream blush from believe beauty I have it in the shade Doll Face. If you find this, grab it. It is amazing. It is pigmented. It lasts all day. It is beautiful. Um, I think they, I only saw two shades where I went. Um, there was more of like a corally type shade and then a pinky type shade. But I, this is, I'm probably going to grab the other shade if I find it because this is, this is amazing. It's so beautiful. Okay, and then this is the Buxom blush I was talking about, the Wanderlust Primer and Fluce blush. I have it in the shade Mykonos. I had the Doll Face shade in my cart, and then I went to work out, came back upstairs, took my shower, came out of my shower, and it was sold out. So within that time frame, it sold out, and I was like, no, I should have just bought it in the morning when I woke up, but that's okay. I still got the shade Mykonos, and it's beautiful. It's like a corally pink shade. Um... It lasts all day. I like this line from Buxom. I haven't tried like face products from Buxom before. So i um, really impressed with them. And then I have the one from Flower Beauty. So this is the Flower Pots Powder Blush. I have it in the shade Warm Hibiscus. Um, again, this is a beautiful shade. It's a more of like a rosy type shade. Um, but it is, it's beautiful. It definitely gives you like a nice glow um, as well. I loved it. 
Okay. The last blush is from Nabla. Um, I have it in the shade Truth, and it's the Skin Glazing Glass Skin Finish Glow Powder. And I 100% agree with this. It gives you like such a beautiful glow, but it you can see the blush. Like it's not just like a highlighter, like it's like a glowy blush and it was beautiful. It just, it brought like a radiance to the face. It not, didn't look like an oily radiance, but like a beautiful radiance to the face. All right, I have three um, highlighters here. So the first highlighter is from Believe Beauty. This is the Luminous Glow Trio on Cloud Nine is the shade um, or is the palette. I liked all three of these. I think the middle one is probably my favorite. It's the one that I like to, you know, highlight my eyebrow bone with or um, like my inner corner of my eye. But this was beautiful. It lasted all day. It looked very it looked glowy without looking like fake, like you didn't see like streaks on your face. Um, this one is called, um, this one's from Kaja and this is the Mochi Glow. So this is more of like a cream highlighter and it's in the shade 03 Luna. Um, this was beautiful as well. Um, I loved this one. This one looked great under makeup. This one looked great over like a lighter foundation. It it looked beautiful on the eyes really impressed with this there's i might try to see if i can find more things from kaja to try out there okay this highlighter it's called it's iced highlight illuminator um from jaclyn cosmetics i was so impressed with this highlighter um i have not tried a whole lot from her brand so this was the first thing that i tried and i was so I was very impressed. Like, I think this is absolutely beautiful. Um, I would pick up other shades in this. I would, I don't know. The packaging is a little bulky, so it kind of annoys me because the pan is very small. It doesn't need to be this big of packaging, but it's still beautiful packaging. Okay, we'll go into lips and then we'll go into palettes. So let's see here. A couple things that I had been loving was the um, lip glosses from Michaela by Glamlight. So I have like the more iridescent one and then the golden, more of like a golden shade. I really liked both of these as well. Like they were absolutely beautiful. Um, they stayed, they didn't feel like gloppy, like they didn't feel like my lips were sticking together or anything like that. So I really, really liked both of those. This surprised me, the one from Kaja. Um, I didn't know that I would like it as much as I did. It's like a heart shape. Um, and I think it's more like a balm, like a tinted balm, but it it was beautiful. I like this one a lot. And it, it's weird, like the heart shape like actually matches your lips really well when you put it on. I don't know, I like it. Okay, so I have a few things from Believe Beauty. The first thing I have is their lipstick here. I have it in the shade Satin Crush Lipstick in the shade Soft Rose. Um, I like this one. It was very hydrating. Um, it lasted all day. The packaging is beautiful. So I would recommend that. Also from Believe Beauty, I loved their lip gloss. I have it in the shade Ethereal. Um, but it is beautiful, like just beautiful. Okay. And then I also have the lip liner right here from Believe Beauty. Um, I really, really like this one as well. I will say it's called Barely There. I would say make sure to check that it's not used before you pick it up because it, it, these ones weren't sealed, like the lip liners weren't sealed. Okay, so I have three lip products from Milani here. I have, what is this? Oh, I can't read. Okay, so I have more of the, the lip shades here. So I have two of these. Um, 
I did really, really like these as well. I will say the other one I probably liked better. These ones felt a little bit drier on my lips, but I did still like them. This one was my favorite of all three. So this one is in Secret, 430 Secret. Um, it's like the matte version. I This one was my favorite. I, I had to pick up other shades and it's already sold out. They are sold out. Otherwise, I would have picked up all of them. Okay, and the last lip, let's see, this is a soft matte lip cream and it's from the Mean Girls collection from Profusion. I really, really liked this. Um, it surprised me a little bit as to how much I liked it um because I've never used like a lip cream before but it was beautiful it didn't ha it wasn't super long wearing but it was still really really pretty okay I'm on to eyeshadow palettes okay so the first one I'm sure you could guess it's the one from Bully Beauty um it is in Sultry Sunset the mattes were easy to shade they were pigmented or easy to blend they were pigmented the shimmers were easy. It was just, it was a really easy, like beautiful palette. So, um, would recommend that one. The next one is the Coral Me Maybe from Essence, the eyeshadow palette. So this one is super, super beautiful. So this one is the Coral. I did, if you watched my Ulta haul, I did pick up uh, three more of these because of how good this was and it's not very expensive. So love, love, love. Okay, almost done, I promise. Um, so I have from Mean Girls their Profusion. Um, I've just I just grabbed a couple of their eyeshadow palettes, but I liked most of them. So this one is the Katie Heron one. Um, this one is probably my favorite. And then um, this one is the Karen Smith one, which I also really, really liked. But um, I like their eyeshadow. I've never tried Profusion. Profusion but I've heard such good things and it was not expensive. I think like $10. Um, and there was really, really high quality. Like the shimmers, the glitters, the mattes, everything was beautiful. Okay. And the last two things are the palettes I picked up from Natasha Denona. So the first one is the love palette. Um, I really, really loved this palette. I, <laughs> Think it is beautiful it was easy to blend I'm excited to use it more um, and the other one I'm sure you could have guessed is the retro palette um, this one is absolutely beautiful as well I I just I don't know I love her formula it's so easy to blend and I know it's expensive well the low palette I got for like $32 I think it was on sale at Ulta so it still might be um, the retro was 65 but man it's such good quality it is i i love both of them okay so i know this was a little bit longer but um this was everything that i've been either liking loving or didn't work out for me over the past few months um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up um otherwise just thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day